rough, that's roughly 15% of its staff. Well, a medical marijuana dispensary in Massachusetts is offering a unique product for its patients. It's called Pop Pizza. A lot of our patients really wanted to basically figure out a different way to medicate that didn't always remind them that they were trying to do something to take care of themselves. Well, the dispensary infuses liquid cannabinoids, hopefully I'm saying that right, into ingredients to make the pizza. The food is clearly labeled to prevent patients from overindulging. It's also packaged in a childproof bag, so that's good too. And if pot pizza wasn't creative enough, the dispensary also sells olive oil, peanut butter, and vegan mayonnaise as mm -hmm. well. So. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie when you're hungry. <laughs> Hot pizza. Uh, all right. Uh, still ahead here on Midday. Uh, several movies right now coming to the box office this, this weekend. That's right. We're going to talk with Las Vegas Weekly film editor Josh Bell to get his take on two films that are getting a lot of attention. All right, two movies come out this weekend that Josh Bell has previewed, and Josh is here, the Las Vegas weekly film editor, to start uh, talking to us uh, about a couple of films, and the first one everyone really is talking about is The Mummy. Saw a lot of previews for it. Yes. But you were saying it's not really that great because no. it stars Tom Cruise, though. It does star Tom Cruise, <laughs> but weirdly, I feel like this movie should not star Tom Cruise. Uh, they've hired Tom Cruise for this movie because it's an attempt by Universal Pictures to launch a cinematic universe like mm -hmm. Marvel. They want to take all these classic monster characters and build them up into what they call the dark universe. So they're really getting all these big stars on board so that they can make a lot of money at the box office with this. But I think this is this shouldn't be a Tom Cruise movie. It's okay. Uh, it's not the kind of thing that needs to be a big action blockbuster with quippy one-liners. None of that stuff really works here. Mm -hmm. um, it's a horror movie, uh, or at least it should be, and it's really ineffective at making you care about the mummy as a villain and as a character. Sophia Boutella, who was great in the Star Trek movie last year, plays the mummy, but she's barely a presence in this movie. She's not really a threat. Uh, it's not creepy or scary, uh, the action is mediocre, uh, the humor falls flat, and the uh, efforts to set up this big universe, I think, are really not particularly promising. We've got Russell Crowe in here as Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, who's going to potentially get his own movie later on. And he was kind of fun, but that's a very small part of this movie, and even that is kind of out of place, so okay. it just doesn't fit together. Well, Tom's been in a couple blockbuster flops lately, hasn't he? Yeah, he's What's had a couple. Uh, I mean, I think he's still <laughs> right for that kind of movie sure. if it's the right movie. I feel like it's not necessarily his fault that he doesn't fit in this movie. It's that they've kind of tried to shoehorn him into something where he doesn't belong. But I still like the Mission Impossible movies yeah. and Edge of Tomorrow, which was kind of a flop but was a lot of fun. So True. he can do a good job in these kind of movies, just yeah. not in this one. And we're very excited about Maverick, you know, that's coming out. Uh, well, you're not excited? You're very excited uh, you're about not? it. <laughs> you don't think there needs to be a second? 30 plus years <laughs> later? No, I think we can do without it. <laughs> oh, Josh. All right, well, we have a minute left. Left. And we want to talk about uh, a movie that you actually suggest a lot of people talking about. It's the true life military drama. It's called Megan Levy and it stars Kate Mara. Yes, uh, it's a real story about a Marine who was a dog handler and after she left the Marines uh, fought to adopt the dog that she had worked with in the military and it's kind of a feel good inspirational story. Uh, I think if uh, you're a dog lover, uh, there'll be some tears that okay. kind of come out of this movie and it's not a great movie, but it does what it sets out to do and if it looks like something you want to see, I think people will be satisfied with right. it. Right, yeah, it kind of does seem like that. All right, yes. well, good. Well, we've got one flop and one pretty good. So. Yeah, one to see if you like that yeah. kind of thing, yes. No Maverick, really? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see when they actually make it. All right, thanks, Josh. Have a great weekend. Stay with us.